For these questions, you're going to write the standard form. The standard form is just a way to show the value of a number using digits and places. It's the most common way to write numbers. In these numbers, though, they may or may not include decimals. And decimals just represent a value that's less than one whole. In fact, a decimal can be 10 times less than one whole, or 100 times less than one whole, or a thousand times less than one whole, but decimals are always less than one whole. So let's look at some examples on how to change a word form into a standard form. So let's look at number one. It says one and seven tenths. Anytime you see the word and in a number, that is where a decimal is going to go. The words in front of and are gonna be the whole values and the words after and are going to be the decimal values. The next thing you want to do is look for the place value word, such as tenths. Well, in this number, this number is going to go to the tenths place, which is the first place after the decimal. So this number is going to look like something like that and maybe something before it as well. So in this case, we have one, so one whole, and now we have seven tenths. So we're just going to fill in the digit seven into the tenths place. So to write this in standard form, it's going to look like this, 1.7. It's pronounced one and seven tenths. Since the seven is the last digit of the number and it's in the tenths place, our last word is going to be tenths when we read it in word form. So let's move on to number two. So on this number two, I see the word 54. I don't see any decimal words such as tenths or hundredths or thousandths, and I don't see the word and. So in this case, this word is only gonna be made up of whole numbers. It's not going to have any decimal values. So in this case, this number is just going to be 54. We do not have to put a decimal. We could if we wanted to and put a zero after it, but we don't need to do that. A decimal is only for numbers that have additional parts of another one. So let's look at number three. This time we have 92 hundredths. I see this place value word hundredths, so I know I'm going to need a decimal. I also know that hundredths is the second place to the right of the decimal. So this number is going to have two spots. I know it's not going to have three spots, because the last word in word form is the last spot in your standard form. So now I'm going to read the digits 92, and so I would just fill in those places with 92 hundredths. So in this number, there are no whole numbers. There's not, this value is less than one. It's almost one, but it's less than one. So 92 hundredths would look like this. Okay, let's look at number four. I see the word and, so I know that's going to be a decimal, and everything in front of it is going to be the whole numbers. So seven and, so that's gonna look like that. And my place value word is tenths, and tenths is going to be one spot. I know it's not gonna be two spots, because if it was two spots, it would have said hundredths here. So we have seven and nine tenths. So we put the nine in the tenths place, and we end up with seven and, 9 tenths, or 7.9. So let's look at number five. This time we have 60 hundredths. Well, this is a place value word, hundredths. So I know that I'm gonna have a decimal, and I know since I say the word hundredths, that's gonna be the number of spots that I have in my number. So I know I need two places since hundredths is in the, in the, um, in the second place. So my, my number here is 60. So I need to use those two blanks to write the word 60, 60 hundredths. This may be confusing because you may think that you need to put the six in the hundredths place, but remember the word that you read in word form is the, the last place in the number in standard form. 60 hundredths is the same thing as six tenths. They're the same values. The zeros added on at the end of the number do not change the value. So there's several ways that you could read this same value of 60 hundredths. 
You could read it like that, 60 hundredths. You could also read it like 6 tenths, and you could also read it like 600 thousandths, since the last digit is now in the thousandths place. So zeros added to the end of a number don't really affect the value if the end of the number is after a decimal. So this one, 60 hundredths, would look like that. Okay, let's look at number six. We have 67. I see no decimal words for the place value. I see no uh, word and for a decimal. So this is just a whole number value, 67. So you try the rest on your own. If you have any questions, you can rewatch this video. Good luck.